everyone, welcome back to the channel. Following on from the reviews and the information about the architecture course that University of Manchester has to offer, it is time to talk about accommodation. In today's video, we'll be going through all 23 accommodations that University of Manchester provides, covering vital information like rent prices and proximity to the campuses. This is actually a series that I'm putting together for prospective students who want to study at the University of Manchester, and so I've put the link to the playlist down in the description box below if this is of interest to you. Before we go into the video, if you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. A little note about the structure of the video. First off, we'll be talking about the three campuses that the University of Manchester has. Then we'll be diving into the accommodations that the University of Manchester has to offer, highlighting the names, the campuses that are there on, the applicants, so whether it is only for undergrads or postgraduates, room types, so whether it's singles or en suites, their prices per week, those included, thankfully, all along with photos of the set accommodation so you can make an informed decision. So let's talk about the campuses. University of Manchester has three distinct campuses, the City Campus, the Fallowfield Campus, and the Victoria Park Campus. Number one is the City Campus. City Campus is the core university campus. It is where the famous University of Manchester building, Worth Hall, is, and where most of the faculty buildings, the facilities, and the lecture theaters are located as well. Living in proximity to the City Campus will give you a lot of flexibility and time when attending classes. Next up, the Fallowfield Campus. Fallowfield Campus is around 2.5 kilometers to the south of the city campus, and it is residential and suburban, so if that's what you're looking for for your university life, it might be a campus of choice for you. The main sports center of the University of Manchester, the Armitage Sports Center, is also located in Fallowfield Campus, so if you're a sports lover, you know which campus to pick. Last but not least, it is the Victoria Park campus. It is located somewhere in between the city campus and a fallow field campus. It is closer to green spaces and parks, and it is much quieter. So if you're looking for a tranquil and peaceful living environment, Victoria Park campus will be the best choice for you. The first accommodation we're going to talk about in the city campus is Salford Student Quarter. It is a postgraduate only accommodation, so if you're an undergraduate student looking for accommodation, this accommodation doesn't really apply to you. It is a self-catered accommodation, meaning you cook your own food, no food will be provided. It is a singles en suite, meaning you get your own bathroom. It is a 3.2 miles away from the city campus, which is a bit far away, but it's still located within the city. It is 68 minutes by walking, 90 minutes by cycling, and around 40 minutes by bus. It is priced at £202 per week, which is a bit pricey. However, within your facility, you'll get a common room with TVs, you get free gym, you get laundry facilities, and a 24-7 CCTV coverage. You'll also get exposure to extensive green spaces which might not be available in other accommodations. Next up is Denmark Road. It is an accommodation both for undergraduates and postgraduates. It is a self-catered accommodation, meaning you cook your own food again. It is singles en suites, meaning you have your own privacy with your own bathroom. It is really close to the campus, only half a mile away. So if you go by walking, it's around 12 minutes. If you go by cycling, it's around three minutes. And if you go by bus, it's nine minutes. Currently, it is priced at 199 pounds per week. Denmark Road is located in a really good location. It is really close to different shops and the academic facilities at school. And within the hall, you also get spacious common rooms, laundry facilities, and CCTV coverage. Number three on the list is George Kenyon Hall. It is only for postgraduates again, so it doesn't apply to undergraduates. It is a self-catered accommodation, meaning you cook your own food. No food will be provided. It is singles, en suites, you have your own bathroom. It is super, super close to the campus, around 0.1 mile away, so it's located essentially in the campus. It is priced at 184 pounds per week. 
It is really convenient if you live in George Canyon Hall because it is located within the campus. It is within walking distances to lecture theaters, to student union, and within the hall, you also get access to spacious common rooms. Next up is Horman House. It is only for postgraduates only, so not for undergraduates, unfortunately. It is self-catered, meaning you cook your own food. This is quite a unique accommodation because it is both for singles and also for couples. So I think it's targeted towards mature students who already have a partner or who already have kids it might be easier for them to live within this accommodation it provides en suites as well so you have your own personal bathroom it is really close to the city campus around 0.3 miles away so around seven minutes with walking three minutes with cycling and around five minutes by bus currently is priced at 234 pounds per week Horniman House offers 39 one-bedroom flats and some deluxe flats for postgraduate students who are singles or couples. The deluxe flat comes with an extra study room. This accommodation is really central. Close to it, we have Morrison's, Costa, Sainsbury's, and it's really close to the campus as well. Park View is located in a really good location because it is really close to the lecture theaters and facilities on campus. It is also really close to Oxford Road, so you have access to a range of shops and bars and restaurants. Within the hall, you'll have access to a spacious common room with TV, you'll have bike storage, and you'll have laundry facilities and also CCTV. Next up, we have Weston Hall. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is also a self-catered accommodation. It is singles, but you also have ensuite, so you have the privacy of your own bathroom. It is quite close to the campus, around 0.7 miles away, so 16 minutes by walking, 5 minutes by cycling, and 10 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced as £185 per week. Each flat contains eight bedrooms and there are over 500 rooms in this accommodation. Each bedroom, you'll have a single bed, you have your own ensuite bathroom, you have plenty of storage space and also a good study space. It is also located in a really good location because it is close to the campus and it is also really close to the city center where you'll be exposed to nightlife and a lot of restaurants and a lot of shops. Next up is Whitworth Park, and this is the accommodation that I stayed in for my first year, and I absolutely love it because of the convenience. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduates, so you can both apply. It is a self-catered accommodation. You have to cook your own food. It is singles. You only get your own bedroom, but you share both the bathroom and the kitchen, so you don't have the privacy of your own bathroom. But it is located extremely close to the campus, around 0.4 miles away. So it is around 9 minutes if you're walking, 3 minutes if you're cycling, Playing and eight minutes by bus. It is currently priced at 118 pounds per week. Woodworth Park contain low-rise houses and each flat is three stories. Depending on which house you live in, flats will be between seven to nine bedrooms each. You have a spacious living area, you have a spacious lounge area. I really love this accommodation because it is so convenient. It's within walking distance to the campus and you're also really close to the concert venue called the Academy if you're a music lover. It is also really close to get to the city by bus or on foot and it is quite a good price for the convenience of this accommodation although you don't get your own ensuite bathroom. Now, we're going to move on to accommodations in the Fallowfield campus. The first one we have on the list is Ashburn Hall. So it is both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is a catered accommodation, meaning you don't have to cook for yourself, but in each flat, there will still be a small kitchen available. It is singles, but it is shared bathrooms. So you share the lounge area and also the bathrooms. It is 1.6 miles away from the city campus. So 36 minutes by walking, nine minutes by cycling and 19 minutes by bus. Currently it is priced at 175 pounds per week. How catered accommodations work is that they provide you with two meals from Monday to Friday for term times and weekends and for non-term times you'll have to figure out food for yourself. In Ashburn Hall you'll be exposed to nice beautiful outdoor spaces. You have a common hall where you have your dinner with your friends or housemates. You'll also have a music room and a library which is not really a common feature in other accommodations. 
Next on the list of foul field accommodation, we have Oak House. It is only for undergraduate students. It is a self-catered accommodation. It is singles only, so you have your own bedroom, but you share the bathroom and the kitchen area with your housemates. It's 1.6 miles away from the city campus, so around 41 minutes if you're walking, 10 minutes if you're cycling, and 18 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at 113 pounds per week. Oak House offers mixed gender flats of up to eight students per flat. In some rooms, there are also wash basins available. It is one of the biggest accommodations that University of Manchester has because it has over 1,000 rooms available. The perks of living in Oak House is that it is affordable and it is really close to Fallowfield, which means you have access to a wide range of shops, restaurants, and nightlife. Next up, we have Richmond Park. It is only for undergraduate students. It is a self-catered accommodation. It is singles, but you have your own ensuite bathroom. It is 1.8 miles away from the city campus. So it's around 38 minutes if you're walking, eight minutes by cycling and 20 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at 172 pounds per week. Richmond Park offers flats of up to eight bedrooms and they have over 450 rooms available. You have access to your own ensuite, but you'll be sharing the kitchen and a spacious lounge area with your housemates. Located in the Fallowfield area, you'll be exposed to the vibrant shop and atmosphere of Fallowfield. Next on the list, we have Chauvin House. It is just for undergraduate students only, so no postgraduates. It is a self-catered accommodation. It is singles, but you have your own ensuite bathroom, which is always a nice thing. It is 1.7 miles away from the city campus, so 35 minutes by walking, eight minutes by cycling, and 17 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at 172 pounds per week. Chauvin House offers flats with nine bedrooms to 11 bedrooms, and you have access to a large, spacious dining room. The accommodation also offers over 200 rooms. Chauvin House actually shares the green space with their neighboring accommodation, Ashburn Hall, which I mentioned earlier. So you'll also have access to that green space and you have the option to cook your own food, which is a self-catered accommodation that Chauvin House is, but you also have the option to pay extras to have access to the catered meals at Ashburn Hall, which gives you a bit of flexibility. Next on the list, we have Unsworth Park. It is an undergraduate student accommodation. It is self-catered and it is singles, but you have your own ensuite bathroom. It is really modern and really grand. It is 1.9 miles away from the city campus, so around 40 minutes by walking, 11 minutes by cycling, and 22 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at 207 pounds per week. Each flat in Answorth Park ranges from 9 bedrooms to 11 bedrooms and they offer over 1,100 bedrooms in this accommodation. In each flat, you'll have access to a spacious, open plan dining area and kitchen space. Answorth Park offers really nice common areas like a large study space, games room, laundry facilities, etc. And it is located right next to the Armitage Sports Center, so if you're a sports lover, this is the accommodation for you. Next up, we have Utley House. This is an accommodation that's both for undergraduate and postgraduate students. It is self-catered and it is singles, but you have your own ensuite. It is 1.9 miles away from the city campus, so around 40 minutes by walking, 10 minutes by cycling, and 22 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at £196 per week. This accommodation is really tiny as it only offers up to 50 rooms. But if you pick this accommodation, you'll have access to the wide range of quiet study spaces and the lush gardens that they have. The last accommodation in the Fallowfield campus is Walton Hall. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is catered, so you don't have to cook your own food. It is singles, but you have to share bathrooms with your flatmates. It is 1.9 miles away from the city campus, so around 40 minutes by walking, 10 minutes by cycling, and 22 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at £175 per week. In this accommodation, although the bathrooms are shared, you still have your own wash basin in your own private area in your room. You'll also have access to a small kitchenette area in each of your flats, even though it is a catered accommodation, just in case you want to cook food of your own.
The location of the accommodation is quite close to good transport links, shops, and restaurants, and it's also close to University Sports Center, so it is a good choice if you're a sports lover. For postgraduates, this accommodation is self-catered, but for undergraduates, it provides breakfasts and dinner Monday to Friday in term time. Now, moving on to accommodations in the Victoria Park campus. The first one we have is Brook Hall. It is just for undergraduate students. It is singles and you have your own ensuite bathroom. It is self-catered and it is quite close to the campus. It's around 0.8 miles away. If you go by foot, it is 18 minutes. If you cycle, it's 6 minutes. And if you go by bus, it's 13 minutes. Currently, it is priced at £205 per week. Each flat contains up to three to five bedrooms and you have a double bed, your own ensuite bathroom, and you also share the kitchen. It is in a good location because it is quite close to the city campus and also just within a bus ride to the city centre of Manchester. Next up is Birkin House. This is just for undergraduate students, so if you're a postgraduate student, it doesn't apply to you. It is a self-catered accommodation, meaning you can cook your own food. It is single ensuite, so you have your privacy of your own bathroom. It is 0.9 miles away from the city campus, so around 17 minutes if you're walking, 8 minutes if you're cycling, and 12 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at £172 per week. In this accommodation, the flats contain 8 to 10 bedrooms and it offers over just 100 rooms in this accommodation. This accommodation is self-catered, but because it is close to another catered accommodation home hall, which I'll talk about later, you'll also have the option to pay extras to have access to catering options in home hall. Next on the list, we have Canterbury Court. It is just for undergraduate students. It is self-catered, meaning you have to cook your own food. It is singles en suite, so you have the privacy of your own bathroom, but you have to share the kitchen. It's 1.3 miles away from the city campus, so 28 minutes if you're walking, 7 minutes if you're cycling, and 17 minutes if you're going by bus. Currently, it is priced at £172 per week. Canterbury Court offers flats of 10 bedrooms each. Each bedroom comes with a private ensuite and it offers up to 200 rooms. You'll have an active campus life if you pick Canterbury Court because it is close to another accommodation that organizes a lot of events that go throughout the year. Next up, we have Daisy Bank Hall. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is a self-catered accommodation and also single en suite, so you have your own bathroom. It is 1.2 miles away from the city campus, so 27 minutes if you're walking, 6 minutes by cycling, and 17 minutes by bus. Currently, it is priced at £191 per week. It offers mixed gender flats. Around five students are in each flat and there are only a small number of unsweet options available. This accommodation has recently been refurbished, so it looks pretty modern. You'll have an open plan kitchen and lounge area to share with your housemates as well. Next up, we have Dalton Ellis Hall. It is just for undergraduate students. It is a catered accommodation, meaning you don't have to cook your own food. It is singles, but you have the option to pick between en suites, which means you have your own private bathroom, or if you want to opt for a shared bathroom option as well. It's 1.1 miles away from the city campus, so it is 24 minutes if you're walking, 6 minutes if you're cycling, and 16 minutes if you're going by bus. Currently, it is £174 per week. Dalton Ellis Hall houses around 250 students and it offers mixed gender flats. Around five students are in each flat and there are only a small number of unsweet options available. Next on the list is Home Hall. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduates. It is catered so you don't have to cook your own food, at least not during term time. It is singles but it is shared bathrooms so there are no unsweet options available. It is 0.8 miles away from a city campus so 17 minutes by walking, 8 minutes by cycling and 12 minutes by bus. Currently it is priced at £186 per week. Home Hall offers 300 bedrooms and they all have wash basins inside. Bathrooms are shared, but they will be cleaned weekly. How catering works at Home Hall is that it'll offer breakfast and dinner seven days a week during term time. For postgraduate students, it will be self-catered. You have an exposure to green spaces and it's also located in a much 
quieter area in the Victoria Park campus. Next, we have Ansom Hall. It is an accommodation both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is a catered accommodation, so you don't always have to cook. It is singles, but you have to share bathrooms, so you don't have the privacy of your own ensuite. It is 1.3 miles away from the city campus. If you're going on foot, it is 28 minutes. Cycling will take you 7 minutes, and if you're going by bus, it's 17 minutes. Currently, it is priced at £184 per week. How catering works in St. Anselm Hall is that it'll offer breakfast and dinner seven days per week during term time, but postgraduate students, you will be self catered. If you pick this accommodation, you'll have a really active community hall life because you'll be involved with activities year round. Next, we have Manchester Gardens. This is an accommodation that's open to undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is self-catered. You have to cook your own food. It is singles en suite, so you have your own bathroom. It's 1.2 miles away from the city campus. If you're going on foot, it'll be 25 minutes. If you're going by bike, it is 7 minutes. And if you're going by bus, it's 15 minutes. Currently, this is priced at a hefty £238 per week. There are four bedrooms in each flat in this accommodation and within each bedroom you have access to your own private ensuite and a really comfortable double bed. If you pick this accommodation, you have access to common areas, laundry facilities and 24-7 CCTV coverage. You'll also have access to Oxford Road and Wimslow Road, which is really close. And also, you'll be really close to the academic facilities and libraries. Last but not least, we have Russian Place. It is both for undergraduates and postgraduate students. It is a self-catered accommodation. It's singles, en suites, you have your own private bathroom. It is 0.7 miles away from the campus, so 15 minutes if you're walking, 5 minutes if you're taking your bike and 10 minutes if you're taking the bus. Currently, it is priced at £173 per week. Russian Place offers self-contained flats of three to five bedrooms each flat and it offers up to 250 rooms. If you pick this accommodation, it is really central so you'll be really close to Oxford Road and Wimslow Road so you have access to an array of shops and restaurants. It is also really close to the campus and you'll also have access to laundry facilities, common areas and 24-7 CCTV coverage. And that's all the accommodation that the University of Manchester has to offer. If you're looking for a quieter dorm life experience, then accommodation at the Victoria Park campus will be a good choice for you. However, if you're looking for the vibrant nightlife that university has to offer, then picking accommodation in the Fallowfield campus will give you the experience that you want. However, if you do want a more academic or if you prioritize proximity and convenience over everything else, then accommodation at the city campus will be your best bet. There is no one best choice of accommodation. It really depends on what kind of person you are and what kind of experience you're looking forward to experiencing at university that will guide you to making the best and most suitable accommodation choice for you. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative or useful in some way. This is actually a series that I'm putting together for prospective students who want to study at the University of Manchester. So if it's of interest to you, I've put the link of the playlist down in the description box below. As usual, if you've enjoyed the content and don't want to miss out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.